Today we'll see one of the frequently asked interview question that is reverse of a string. It can be achieved by using reverse function, using list tag and connect by level and by using for loop. Before going to the actual interview question, let us understand some of the concept so that it will be easy to crack this interview question. First one is the connect by level. In SQL, if you want to loop n number of times, we'll make use of connect by level. If you execute this select statement, we'll print one to five numbers. Next one is the substr. If you if you want to extract some part of the string, we'll make use of substr. This is the syntax. So if you want ac from the third position, we need to have two characters. Next one is the list tag. This function is used to get single records from multiple rows. This is the syntax and the delimiter, whether it's a comma separated or hyphen separator. With a single example, the simple example, you can able to understand what list tag is. Suppose department and employee. From this, we want to display the department wise employee list separated by hyphen. By using list tag function, sub delimited by hyphen, we can able to achieve this one. Now let us see the actual interview question. By using reverse function, we can able to achieve the reverse of a string, but the interviewer won't accept this type of answer. So we'll see further on it. Now we'll see how it can be achieved by using connect by level and list tag. It can be achieved by using two steps. First one is to split the Oracle keyword vertically with numbering columns. It can be achieved by using sub STR and connect by level. After that, we need to aggregate this STR column by using list aggregate function. Step one. By using this query, we can able to achieve, it can be print vertically with numbering column. This is the first step. So next step is to aggregate, at least aggregate this uh, STR column order by level descending. So we are ordering the level column descending. So we'll get the required output. If you put order by level ascending, same Oracle keyword will be printed. Next, we'll see how it can be achieved by using for loop. Declare, begin, and end. In the declaration section, we are declaring one variable, str1, and we are assigning Oracle to it. And declaring another variable, str2, and as we are not assigning anything, by default, null will be stored in str2. So this for loop will iterate for six times. That is length of the string. Length of the string is six. So the list loop will iterate for six times. We'll see what exactly this, st this statement will do. Sub str of Oracle one comma one and concatenate with str two. One comma one output will be O and we are concatenating with null. So null concatenate with zero will get O. The second loop will be, I will be incremented to two. So two comma one, R will get, R concatenate with O, will get R O. In a similar way, entire loops, it will iterate for six times and required output will be stored in str2. If you want to see the result by using dbms underscore output dot put line, we can able to achieve. So if you want to solve this query, you should have better understanding of this following concept. Next upcoming video would be like occurrences of letter or digit and also to find the position of a string by using in string. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.